Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on various products, tips, and techniques and tricks as well. Today we are going to be doing a February 2020 BoxyCharm review and unboxing. So make sure you guys stay tuned if you want to know if this subscription box is worth your money. Let me know if you like this video down below and make sure you hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video. And I know like 70% of you guys that watch my channel aren't even subscribed so please hit that subscribe button like why are you just coming to watch and not hitting subscribe that doesn't even make sense <laughs> congratulations to my first ever giveaway winner zoe i'll put her at like probably right here or something she won and resi palette and yeah who's ready for that bloodless giveaway coming up next you guys already know it's dropping this friday so yeah you guys better stay tuned for that you have to hit that subscribe button if you want to get that palette, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so this month's box came in the BoxyCharm Lux box, like the big one, because there was a really big palette or something like that. But, got that bubble wrap. Let's see what I got. So this month's BoxyCharm theme is hashtag BoxyAdore for the month of February. So first, I have the Siat, Siat London Everyday Vacay coconut setting powder yeah coconut setting powder lock in your makeup for long lasting wear with Ciate London's everyday vacay coconut setting powder Del delicately <laughs> delicately coconut fragrance to take you back to your beach vacay every day this finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over makeup for a crease free soft focus finish with no flashback and this retails for $22. So let's unbox it right here. Ah, fuck. Why is this box attacking me? You guys know I hate packaging. That's it. I hate that shit. <laughs> okay. So the box is pretty nice. First of all, it's right over there. Let me smell it. It's kind of, I guess it's pretty nice. This, this lid is pretty cheap. Not gonna hold you. Nope. Oh, it has a little um, protector. These are hard as hell to take out. It doesn't really smell like coconut. I feel like, oh yeah, I smell it. But it's like a hint. Next we have the Luxie Complete Sponge Set Bake Contour and Detail Kit. This set of sponges provides a full array of applications. Each sponge is built with different densities, water retention rates, and shapes. These sponges are the ideal complement to your brush set to obtain a perfect complexion and impeccable look. And it retails for forty dollars. So I'm gonna open this. I didn't even know Luxie had beauty blenders. Ooh, it's pretty soft, and they smell pretty good. Oh, this one's stiff though. Well, I think that's the bake. Oh no, that's the contour. This is the bake, and this is the detail. The detail's more like the bake. They're soft, but the the contour's hard, really hard. <laughs> Anyways, putting that to the side as well. Let me get the next thing. Hold up. Next, I have for you guys a Moda five piece brush set. Moda Pro takes Moda to the next level. This line features superior quality filaments and modern professional shapes. Use this kit to create endless on trend eye looks. And this retails for twenty six dollars. Show you guys what this looks like. I don't want any more brushes. I have so many brushes. This is like killing me. No more brushes. Mm. Let's see you guys can take a look. Let me focus. Right there. This looks like um more like a blunt a bullet brush, but it's the fibers are a lot longer on this one. As if I could get it to focus, I don't think it will. <laughs> this is like almost a packing brush and this is definitely a blending brush a hundred percent and this is an, a longer blending brush yeah this is just another blending brush and then you have a liner but this is a little too thick for a liner if you guys can see that ridiculous I don't know next we have Queen Cuvine Cuvine or Queen? I don't know. How do you pronounce this? Cuvine Queen? 
Cape Cuisine. <laughs> matte liquid lip satin. If you're a full coverage enthusiast, this matte liquid lip satin is your superhero. Our extremely pigmented formula gives you a true to matte finish in one coat with 12 hour performance. Retail price is $17. It looks like this, the components. It looks like, um, like a RNG brick red, kind of. Mm. It has like a sense of it. I don't know what it is, but it smells pretty good. I'm gonna do a swatch right here. Oh yeah, it's really creamy. That's really nice. I wonder what the dry down is like. This is a lip swatch, just so you guys can see right here. Last but not least, <laughs> we have the iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette right here create endless beautiful looks with these 20 highly pigmented shades these velvety soft powders include a mixture of mattes shimmers and glitters for flawless day-to-day -day looks and this retails for 62 dollars 62 what american dollars okay this shit's huge so like you can't even bring this book with you anywhere like whoa oh that's a big ass mirror wait i love this asmr who's ready who's ready Got him. All right, this is what the palette looks like. Whoa. Should we do some swatches? Lipstick dried down, by the way. And I'm getting no transfer at all when I like touch it with my finger, which is really nice. This is, looks really nice. I don't know if it's like a color I would choose per se, but like for my clients, I think a lot of people like that color. <laughs> so again, just this is a palette. So we're just gonna go in with some swatches. So I'm just gonna do like the swatches going like this across and I'm gonna just give them to you guys in sets of four. I'm gonna do them on my hand, ready? So we're gonna start with I'm nude and I'm gonna go in right here. So you can see that right there. And I'm gonna go in with Champagne Chic. You can see the Champagne Chic right there next to it. It's like a metallic gold foil. Now I'm gonna go in with 24K gold that's it right there another metallic gold foil but that's you know obviously a darker metallic than the first one we've had two metallics and one transition shade and then we have deep soul this is a dark brown matte oh that's nice and there you go that's the first row swatch for you right there now we're gonna go into the second row of the palette so I'm gonna start off with VIP vibes that's right there and then I'm gonna go in with Copper Me Fancy. Oh yeah, these are really nice and creamy. And then I'm gonna go in with Ultimate Tan. This is another matte shade. It's like um a mauve almost, but like kind of like a pink undertone one right there. Kind of doesn't really come up on my skin. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Closing Party. And it looks like a dual chrome metallic. I'm not sure though. Yeah, no, it's just another metallic. I thought I had like another something in there, but it didn't. Oh, actually it has a small purple reflex now that I see, which are pretty nice. Now we're going into the third row of the palette. So I'm gonna start off with Bronze Bay. Whoa, that one's really nice and creamy. Then I'm gonna go in with Taupe de Taupe. <laughs> Toupe de Toupe. <laughs> what? I don't know, I'm not a english teacher that's like a, a beige like a light beige it's very similar to ultimate tan but it's like a hint darker then i'm gonna go in with merlot mondays and this it's like it's like this muted burgundy-ish like magenta shade very like mom vibe shade <laughs> like they just have it in their crease and then last but not least, we have Velvet Crush. It looks like Closing Party, but it looks a little bit deeper. And it also seems to have like small reflex of something in there. But it's not as reflective as the metallics. You see, it's like a little bit, it's more like, um, this is more like a sequin and this is like a metallic, you know? I don't know what I'm saying. I kind of do, but I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, fourth row. First shade is Peaches and Dreams. Again, it's another muted like, it's a muted peachy, I wouldn't even call that a peach color. 
That's not like like a, a soft pastel orange. Like really soft. Like it's barely coming up. Then we have peach fizz. So put all the peaches in this shit. Might as well be called the peachy color. This is peach fizz. That's pretty nice. Not for my skin color, but it is pretty nice. And then we have Bellini. It's like a another soft matte color. It's like a salmon. Not not the fish. But the color. But it's like more reddish. And it's not swatching good at all. But remember, swatches do not signify how it's gonna work on the eye because we use brushes, not our fingers. But this is just to show you guys. And last but not least, we have rags to riches. I'm following with like the glittery metallic shit, you know. And finally, here we are, the last row of the palette. We have Icon, looks like a soft champagne, um, yep, metallic. Oh, it's almost like whitish. I thought it would be like a little bit more pinkish on the hand, but not as much as in the pen, but it's almost like a little gold, like a rose goldish, but like so light, it's just my eyes, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> and then this one's Marshmallow, it looks, kind of like an off-white beige to me really really nice transition shade for the lighter skin people um and then we have wonderland which looks like a pinkish duochrome to me let's see that's what that looks like wow these are really strong payoff colors and last but certainly not least we have girl boss a real dark 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 burgundy and a light metallic formula yeah so that's the whole palette swatch this lipstick does not come off <laughs> it stains me my dark ass <laughs> look at this it looks like someone got killed that shit stains hell no i am not putting that thing on my lips sorry <laughs> sorry boxy charm Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just disclaimer, if you have boxy charm and you are lighter than my skin color and you got this in your box, be careful. <laughs> Cause this thing is gonna leave your lips red. <laughs> I'm going in with the NYX Cosmetics Honey Gummy Up Primer. I'm going with a tiny bit of the e.l.f. poreless primer on some of my areas that I need some. Literally, you just need like this much. Like even that's too much because I'm just going to use a bit. And you warm it up like this with your fingers and you press it into your skin. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to set my lids. I'm going to use the Detail Beauty Blender one to do that. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, I don't think I like how this little beauty blender is working for placing this product. I mean, it worked, but it sucked. Now that I set my lid with MAC Painterly Paint Pot, I'm gonna go in with the motor brushes. And I'm gonna go in with the, I'm gonna go in with I'm in the nude as just my transition shade. So the first shadow, oh, it has a lot of kickback. And I'm just gonna start working with that. Oh, it's really pigmented on the eyes now. And yeah, I just laid that down. I'm just going to do that on the other side too. And I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to blend that out better. This is like a blending brush. <laughs> And then I think I'm just gonna go in with the tube, the toupee, whatever. The shade I can't pronounce. <laughs> so it's like a lighter brown matte. And I'm just gonna go in with that in my crease and deepen that up. Again with the blending brush, just to blend that out. I'm gonna go in with Merlot Mondays just a bit because I kind of like that shade and how it's looking. It's kind of been going and it hung up the phone because it disappeared. Oh, it went right into the air. Let's try another brush. Maybe it's the brushes. 
Scott Barnes. We're going to go in with Merlot Mondays. There she is. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short and sweet for you guys. <laughs> Watch this. You saw that? Effortless. Effortless. <laughs> Ready again, here I go. Effortless again. So now we're just gonna finish this off with let's do let's do um closing party. Right on the inner lid, right? I, I like that. Let's try that out. I'm gonna go with my finger. I'm gonna try and take uh the the edged brush and try to line my eyes with the dark brown. I'll see what happens. I'm not sure if it's the brown or the brush, but not I don't think an ounce of pigment stayed on my fucking lid. My Scott Barnes number 59 brush. Going in with that brown. Yeah. She's there now. Um, <laughs> Not to say that the brushes suck, but but they probably got them for a really low price. I mean, I'm comparing them to these brushes. I mean, like, I know it's not fair, but you guys saw for yourself. Like, <laughs> it needed saving because of, yeah, you guys saw that. I'm just going to do... <laughs> The other eye off camera with which brushes <laughs> I'll see you guys in two seconds so as they're all done this is what they look like and yeah I'm just gonna go in with my Jeffree Star cosmetics concealer Gonna take the Luxie one. So I just added some concealer where I would usually highlight just so we could try out the powder. I'm not really gonna do anything more than that because there's no point because I don't have any more products. I'm not gonna do a wear test. Um, to be honest with you guys, the these things are the beauty blenders are pretty good the palette is pretty good the brushes are terrible honestly they're like some of the worst brushes i've ever tried um and now we're just gonna see if this is good or not oh and that lipstick is nice but it stings nope <laughs> so we're gonna take the bake one and we're just gonna take the coconut baking powder dunk it in Oh, it really smells like coconut. Whoa. This is the worst shape ever. <laughs> like, what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> Weird ass shape. And now we're gonna take it off with my Scott Barnes brush. I wish the powder were a little bit more jet milled because it's a little thick and especially if you're gonna bake with a powder if it's gonna be a powder like this that's really thick it's gonna give you that flashback like you see I have right now sometimes and it's also not gonna be as good at doing a job of going into the of the concealer because you saw how I had to like um, push it out when a powder is really finely jet milled as you can see with my Anastasia Beverly Hills one most of the time when I go in I go in with a bit and then it goes in and it really just melts into the concealer and that's because of how fine the product is and it allows it to do that for me this is just a little too big <laughs> but it smells pretty good but the smell lingers I don't like that I don't like when the smell lingers yeah I don't like. Let me go in with some inner highlight, inner corner highlight. Let me use this little bullet crease brush. I mean, terrible brushes, not the terrible palette. And I'm gonna go in with Icon. That's never mind. I'm just going with my finger. I went in with some inner corner highlight. 
yeah that's pretty much it like i said i don't really have i don't have anything more to add to this review so there's no point of completing my full face <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed everything of the this month's boxy charm. The palette, I think it's great. Honestly, I think it's too big to travel with anywhere, but just as a palette for yourself. It has some beautiful, beautiful colors in there. It has a really big, nice mirror. These pan sizes are pretty big, and this will be a really nice palette that you can make a bunch of looks with, like so many looks. The beauty blenders are beauty blenders. Can't go wrong with them. They work like how they're supposed to work. The powder, I wish it was more finely milled, but I mean, it smells pretty nice. The brushes were honestly one of the worst brushes I think I've ever tried. I did not like them at all. I went up going with the Scott Barnes brushes you guys saw. And the lipstick, like I said, it looks good, it smells good, but it stains. And I don't like lipsticks that stain. Let's see if I could get the red off my hand though. Nope, still there. It won't go away. <laughs> I'll update you guys next video. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this boxy charm. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Make sure you guys go listen to the brand new episode of Vika the Podcast featuring Eddie. It is up right now. And yeah, you guys could just go on Apple Podcasts. You guys could go on Spotify. You guys could go on SoundCloud. Wherever you desire to listen to podcasts, it's available. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on various products, techniques, and tips and tricks. And hopefully you guys pick up some of those tricks on the way. Today we're gonna be doing a Scott Barnes face palette review. So I got all of the face palettes from scottbarnes.com and we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using them today to get ready. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys what I think about them. So I have the palettes right in front of me and we have, we have three palettes from Scott Barnes Cosmetics. Is this Scott Barnes Beauty Cosmetics? I don't know. What is it? It's just Scott Barnes. <laughs> so I got the Glowy and Showy Number no. One Highlighter Palette, which retails for sixty-eight dollars. I also got the Cheek Chic 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 Number no. One Blush Palette, which retails for fifty-eight dollars. And I also got the Sculpting and Contour Number no. One Contour Palette, that also retails for fifty-eight dollars. And I used the coupon Welcome Twenty Twenty. If any of you guys wanted. To just use it out there it gave off a lot i don't remember how much but i think it was like 30 percent so i really recommend you guys use it anyways let's get right into it so we're gonna this is what it looks like when it comes just like the makeup brushes you know the scott barnes bags they're really nice but yeah let's just rip this open and see what's inside oh wait we just opened like this whoa oh, look at that that's very nice i love that and then this is what the back looks like. Cruelty free and recyclable as well, which is nice. This is a nice sleeve. Ooh, this is what the palette looks like without the sleeve. And it has a little clasp that goes kind of around. So it opens like that, which I really like. That's so a little bit more secure. But yeah, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, but this is what the palette looks like. And this is very good just from a makeup artist perspective. A lot of shades a lot of different undertones as well which is really really good i'm really excited for this and the mirror is nice and big too and it feels very very sturdy and it looks like you do get a lot of product let me see 